applied pressure. But as we mentioned, once we got beyond a certain point in round number two, Adarty got comfortable, got himself out of the corner and began to find spaces. And you have to and do other things to, to make you win it. And, your you know, Give it up for one out of four Lucy isn't Keith enough. Lepska. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is bout 14, which is the female national amateur final at under 66 kilos. Bout number 14 is scheduled for three rounds of three minutes and introducing your boxers. Firstly, boxing out of the red corner, wearing all red with white trim. And representing the East Midlands, hailing from the Bronston Golden Gloves, Give it up for Dion Bowman! <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, across the ring, her opponent boxing out of the blue corner, wearing all black with white trim, representing the UK Armed Forces and the British Army. Give it up for Lucy Kieslewska! <laughs> Your referee in charge, Mr. Wayne Armstrong. So we're underway in the women's 66 kilogram weight category. This is a contest between boxers from the Brownstone Club in the East Midlands and the British Army boxing team. Southport wearing red is Dion Berman. Her opponent just trying some raiding attacks from the perimeter. Lucy Kisilevska of the Army, silver medalist in last year's championships at the 69 kilogram weight class but looking to bomb away with those long rangy shots is Dion Berman really aggressive start from the Southpaw wearing red yeah she's come out and she's um, using a Southpaw uh, stance and, a, uh, and very well she's leading with the the, the jab and, and, and countering with the backhand and coming using a third shot as the hook it was a terrific performance at the semi-final stage by Dion Berman to eliminate national champion Jem Campbell from Islington. Here she is against another tall figure in the form of Lucy Kisileska, who was beaten by Jody Wilkinson at the 69 kilogram weight class at the 2021 championship final at the back end of last year. Here she is at 66. Again, it must be something of a rare experience for Kisileska to be punching upwards, but she cuts a towering figure, does Berman, in the 66 kilogram weight division. And she's dominating the ring space, not just a tall fighter, but a tall pressure boxer. And when you're facing somebody with that type of stature and that type of mentality, she scores with a terrific jolting right jab. And it's like being pursued by a telegraph pole. They just eat up all of the space. Yeah, she's... Um 
she it's not very often that that, that the south uh fighter will be aggressive will be the aggressor normally you, you know you, you you're so used to orthodox that you you're a counter you're a counter boxer but she's on the front foot she's she's moving her body she's she's trying to get close so kissy leska just trying to draw her opponent in falling short with the jab that time but keeping the feet going is berman Berman looking for the left hand over the top. Kisi Lesko tries with the right, or scores with the right hand to the body, but was picked off by successors upstairs from Berman. Kisi Lesko is doing the right thing. She's coming in low, because the, the, for a tall person, it's harder to punch down, as mad as that sounds. Not as much leverage on a shot when you're punching down as to when you're punching straight or punching up. Yeah, that's right. So deep into this opening round is... Good straight shot during that combination from Kisileska, but the better of the exchange, first and third boxing from Berman. My goodness, she set out her stall right from the opening belt. So to the second round then, mentioning the fact that Berman beat Jem Campbell, the two-time champion and number one seed at the semi-final stage in the quarterfinals the day before. She prevailed over Maisie Hodgkinston with a first round stoppage. So again, using those attributes of height and length and aggressiveness to good effect en route to this championship final. Kisileska looking to go one better than she did last year. And there's a beautiful lead left hook which swivels the head of Berman. Terrific shot selection. Yeah, it was good. It was as, as she came, she just dipped back, dipped it underneath and came over with the with the hook and, and she followed it up with a backhand, which both shots landed. Berman keeps on pressing, extending that backhand on her forward foray, but Kisileska cutting a relaxed figure here in something of a new experience facing somebody who is taller than she is. But she's making a good adaptation, looking to launch sneaky raiding attacks, and she got through with the right hand there during that exchange. But back comes Berman, off the rope spins Kisileska before a tangle ensues, forcing the intervention of the referee. Good right hand to the body, but then countered very shot over the top from Berman. The right hand to the body came from Kisilevska. Yeah, and she's throwing more than one shot now. So she's she's adding a third shot, whether that's a, a hook or whether that's a, a another straight shot, a one-two-one. One. Um, but it's just getting it closer, closer to where the target. So the first one might not land, but the second two do. Well, there you see Berman beginning to re-establish that right jab that triggered a foray across the ring from Kisileska, good right hand to the body, looping left hand, may have been a slap from Kisileska to end that two-shot salvo, but then scoring in between it was Berman. There's a looping left hand from Kisileska once, once again. Two minutes gone in the opening round, in the second round. As Kisileska is trying to go over and outside of, of, of Berman's jab, she's just blocking it and coming inside of the, of, with, a, with a jab of her own or a hook, which is catching Kisileska every time. So Kisileska continuing to watch and wait, momentary turning south for her, she skips in a clockwise fashion around the perimeter of the ring. She was speared by a left-right combination and again letting long looping shots go to the body is Berman. Good portion of the round for her. Kisileska back as an orthodox boxer now, waiting, but she has to be mindful that she doesn't wait too long. The seconds continuing to tick away and it's Berman who is just being the busier boxer here. Left hook was the final shot of that attempted combination from Kisileska. 
Yes, she springs into action on the sound of the 10 second clapper does the army boxer wearing blue but look at that double jab left cross from Berman terrific conclusion In the final 30 seconds of a round to leave it to just stir in the mind of the judges as we move into the third and final round of this contest the 66 kilogram final Don Berman from the Brownstone Golden Gloves Boxing Club and Kissy Lasker looking to go one better than the silver medal she earned at the back end of last year Berman has come out really aggressively looking to cut off the boxing ring once again rather than follow Kisileska around the perimeter. Kisileska looking to box off the back foot and draw in Berman so she can snake out that right hand there but she was caught by an uppercut while her back was to the red corner was Kisileska. She gets out to the space of center ring and then fashions a clinch just to allow her head to clear. Yeah, well, what, what Kisileska's doing is every time she's moving to her right to try and get her foot on the outside, she's bringing herself square on, which means that she's open to the backhand straight down the middle, but she's just countered with a backhand of her own right then. Good right hand to the body, left hook to the head from Kisileska. It was a straight right hand to the body, followed by a bent arm shot upstairs. Beautiful counter right hand to the body once again from Kisileska. The left hand upstairs went long and now Kisileska is getting onto the back foot looking to drive back the aggressive southpaw wearing red. So approaching the midpoint of this third and final round and again the same combination Kisileska using that to good effect triggering the attack from Berman and responding with a counter right hand to the body left hand upstairs. Yeah, yeah she's just, um, Berman's just dropped the pace a little bit, she's getting caught with a backhand there over the top. She needs to uh, get, get a jab back out like she was earlier in the round. Now she's trying to re-establish it, scores with a left hand to the body and then comes upstairs, terrific work from Berman during that combination, working upstairs and downstairs well, body and head. And again, her reach in evidence during the course of that successful period of the round. And she scores with the right jab once more, looking for the south, poor left, that's countered by Kisileska. And Kisileska turning these, coming, the, these periods where they come together into exchanges. Fainting on the front foot is Berman. Counter shot not too far away from Kisileska. Looping left hook attempted. Just grazed the chin of Berman, who comes forward behind a left, a right jab, and then did score with the two shots that followed. Left cross, right jab from the taller boxer. So closing seconds of the third and final round. Kisileska looking for a sneaky right hand before skitting off, takes a left hook on the inside, then Berman looking for the left cross, the sound of the 10 second clapper has spurred Kisileska forward, a terrific contest.
and on to the shot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for both boxers. So, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards where your officials at ringside scored the bout. A unanimous decision in favour of your new female under 66 kilo national amateur champion and boxing out of the red corner. It's Dion. That is a wonderful Burman. moment for Dion Berman. A double a bicep flex and having been Dion. declared a, a unanimous point score. decision Lucy. victor over Lucy Kisileska of the British Army. Dion Berman is the England national boxing champion in the 66 kilogram weight class.